Hi there, thank you for joining me today. In this video, I wanted to talk a little bit about luxury brand Chanel and the new collection or recent collection that they have released called Chanel Factory 5. And if you haven't heard about that collection or looked at that collection yourself, then it's a little bit different than what you might be imagining. So Chanel, as we all know, luxury, iconic brand. They offer couture clothing, ready-to-wear clothing, handbags, shoes, small other goods, skincare, makeup, pretty much anything. And everything they do is well-made and stylish and just timeless creations. So I am not a Chanel expert, nor am I a Chanel collector. I'm just telling you what little I know, just reading books and appreciating Coco Chanel, the founder, and Chanel, the brand. And Archie is roaming around here smelling everything in case you hear bells and snorts. It is not me. So, Chanel is celebrating its 100th anniversary of the famous Chanel number no. five perfume that Coco Chanel created, of course, in 1921. And as part of that celebration, they have released a 17 item limited edition capsule collection of products. And the twist with the products is that these they're all obviously a Chanel number no. five based, but they are packaged in very everyday common utilitarian ways so that the idea is by it being associated with Chanel number no. five it has elevated the function of something very everyday. So the 17 items they're kind of cool and unique and I will be showing you what items I was able to pick up in just a minute. But I did want to mention, maybe you're like not a big luxury fashion, fashion, fashion person, or maybe you're not even a person that cares diddly about fashion. If you are a woman, I would say you should be a fan of Coco Chanel, the person. She was a woman way before her time. Uh, in our standards of today, she would probably be considered a very modern woman. But of course, back in the late 1800s, when she, and early 1900s, when she really uh, became more involved in first designing hats and then later apparel, she was way ahead of her time. And the reason is because she saw things differently. She felt like women needed something different because she had a very active lifestyle. And fashions of that day were corseted. They were very over the top with frills and ruffles and um, all sorts of things that impeded <laughs> mobility, it would seem. So very cinched in waist and long skirts and lots of fabric. And she did not want any of that for herself. She liked to use jersey fabrics, things that would give. She liked a boxy silhouette so that there was more freedom of movement. She didn't like embellishment, more of a streamlined aesthetic. Uh, she loved pockets and she often personally liked to keep her hands in her pockets. This is a vintage Chanel jacket. I'm not sure which year. Obviously it has pockets. They're a little higher than probably most people would put their hands in, but on most Chanel jackets, you'll see there are four pockets, uh, and usually there are pockets down below so that you can keep your hands or other items in them. So, as with this jacket, many of Chanel's products are timeless. This, uh, as I mentioned, is probably a 30 year old jacket and it's other than the shoulder pads giving away maybe a bit of its age it is very iconic classic black and white coloring very classic cut and detail and even the detail though because there is visual detail it's not a fussy detail or anything that would get in the way of mobility and function 
So definitely uh, Chanel was way ahead of her time because we all like our comfort wear and we all want a little bit of spandex or lycra in our clothing so that it moves with us and fits our varying body shapes and sizes. And that was something Coco Chanel realized about her own self and felt like other women would appreciate it too. And they did. So I think we should all say a big thank you for the work of Coco Chanel and getting rid of corsets and mounds of fabric and detail. I can't imagine having to deal with all that today. So as part of this 100th anniversary of Chanel number no. 5, the Chanel brand has released Chanel Factory 5, which is a capsule collection of 17 items. Now, if you're interested in purchasing some of these items and you haven't done so yet, you're going to want to quickly check out Chanel.com or your local Chanel store. I think that online, it appears, several of the items are sold out, although there are still some items available. And when I talked to the nearest boutique to me, which is a couple of hours away, they mentioned that they were out of several things, but they also, of the things they had, had several of them. So I think there is still an opportunity to purchase something if you want something from the collection. Saks, apparently, I'm not sure if it was online or in store, but they had some of the collection, if not all. So you may want to check with a local Saks store or online to see if they have anything. But if you are desperate for something or desperate for a particular product, then you can check eBay, Poshmark, Macari, any of the online retailers that sell already purchased goods. Now you're gonna pay a premium price, often two to three times more than what Chanel was charging, but if you really want something, it might be worth it to you. So uh, hurry up, go check it out. But let me tell you about the products so you'll know which ones that you want. So first, uh, I wanted to, to show you the ones that I was able to get still online and of the 17 items, the prices range from $138 to $45 for the least expensive product. This is the most expensive, $138. It's a bottle of Chanel perfume, which is inside. And uh, I think just regular Chanel is probably in that price. So, you know, if you're going to be buying some, you might as well buy some of the cleverly, cleverly packaged product. This, of course, comes in a white clamshell, just like you would see any other product, screwdrivers, whatever, packaged. Of course, it is in the iconic Chanel look, and this packaging, because it is meant to be more utilitarian, it has a hole at the top, so you can imagine it hanging on one of those metal pegs, so you could just walk by, grab what you needed, and then go up front and pay. So... I was lucky enough to grab one of these, and I think that several of these um, are still in stock, or they are still in stock online. They have the regular uh, perfume, and then they have the toilet spray as well. So, interesting thing I found out about the silhouette of the bottle, which we all know, and when we see this silhouette, we think Chanel number no. five. When Chanel was designing her fragrance back in 1920, or yeah, 1921, the gentleman that was working with her on it provided a sample to her. And that bottle is the sample packaging. That's just how he provided samples to customers. And apparently she loved it because it was so devoid of ornamentation. It was very classic. And then she adorned it with a classic black and white label in a very simple font. So her style permeates all of her offerings. So a few other items that I have and mo most of the Chanel items I have are vintage or things I picked up on resale stores, either online or in person. Oh, Archie, I'm so sorry. So I just have a classic 
black Chanel handbag and I feel like every other word I say in this video is either going to be classic or iconic and it's because so much of what Chanel has done even if you aren't a fan of Chanel or know a lot about the brand there are certain things you are going to recognize or if you see a certain combination you're going to think oh that's very Chanel so Chanel is a brand of icons. Uh, you can think of colorways such as beige and black or blush pink and black or of course white and black which is all their labeling and packaging. If you think of pearls, you think of Chanel, especially uh, long chains of pearls or beads, the iconic logo, the double C's, you see a blue cat clay jacket or product and you think Chanel. If you see the shape of the classic handbag, again, very Chanel. <laughs> um, there are just certain things that we will always, the jacket and the pockets on a jacket, very Chanel. So pardon me <laughs> if I say classic and iconic a lot, but it's hard not to in this situation. So these are the very Chanel ballet slippers. Of course, another icon of the brand. And the ones that I have are boucle. So again, another icon of the brand. Just the box of shoes came in. This is a raspberry handbag. It is probably a little newer than this one. It does have the blackened silver tone hardware that was uh, popular a few years ago. As part of the 17 item collection, they did offer a purse spray. It was sold out when I went online to make my purchase, but this is a Coco Madame, Mademoiselle that I already own, and I love it because the packaging is renewal. There's a perfume vial inside, so you just replace that, and it's also so streamlined. There's no removable cap when you're using it. You just twist it, and you can spray and then twist to close. So it's great to travel with or to put in your purse if you're gonna need to uh, freshen up a little later in the day. As part of the 17 item capsule collection, this is the body lotion, which they advertise or offer in a refill pouch. And again, it's not meant to be refilled or necessarily to refill anything. It's the utilitarianism, utilitarian, <laughs> it is the utility of the packaging in the form. So we're used to getting refills of, you know, cloth washing detergent or dishwashing detergent or hand soap in a package such as this. And this again is elevating by its contents being Chanel number no. five lotion to a higher level than just a merely a refill bag. Arch is down here keeping a watchful eye on me. He's pretty Chanel iconic too. You know, he is a white dog with black accents, so I think he could pull it off. He wears it well. This is another one of the 17 items. It is sparkling body gel. So it's a body gel that has little gold flecks in it. So great for going out. It's packaging looks like a can of spray paint. So it's a metal can with a cap. Of course, it's a bit smaller than what you would buy, but again, it's really cute packaging. Then I have in the classic beige and black color combination that many of Chanel two-tone items are in. I have just a pair of pumps. This is also from the collection. It is the cheapest item. It's the $45 soap and it comes in a tin that is supposed to be reminiscent of shoe polish. So I remember my dad polishing his shoes with tins of shoe polish, put a little water in and then polish his shoes and buff. But Again, once the soap is long gone, this tin will still exist and can have another life or another function. Just have a little card case. Behind that is a Chanel box. This is the box that the capsule collection came in. So it also is a lovely display item. And I'll tell you what I'm thinking about doing with these items in just a little bit. Down at the bottom, I have just a 
bead necklace that's vintage. Again, if you think of photos of Coco Chanel, she always had pearl beads of different lengths, you know, layer upon layer. If you see her models these days, they still usually have pearls or beads. So this is my strand and it has, again, the emblem that we all know to be Chanel on there. I have a little wallet that is Chanel. And then I have a couple of little samples that was included with my order, uh, the Chanel number no. fives. And they came in this little nylon pouch with Chanel at the bottom. So there are 17 items, like I mentioned, in the capsule collection. I have four of them here. So the other items are really cool, and some of the neatest ones were, of course, sold out, which I totally get. But for example, there was a paint pail that was filled with little individual uh, body gel or body wash packets and white with the Chanel logo. There was a, like an ice cream cone wrapper that was filled with a mystery surprise and that ended up being like four products, a nail file, a towel that, you know, once you get it wet, it expands. And I don't remember what the other items were in there. There was a tea, a tea caddy with the lid and the latch and it had bath tablets in it, so if you are interested in buying something, I would warn you that if you go on some of these resale sites, you're gonna want to be sure you read the product description well, because in the picture, I noticed several people are, are showing the tin and maybe three bath tablets, and it's $45 and you think, whoo, I'm gonna get such a deal. And when you actually read the description, all you're getting is the three tablets, so be sure what you're purchasing. Some vendors, I don't think they're being malicious, but they just aren't thinking. So for the products I was interested in, I did write and say, does this include the tin? Does this include the tablets? You know, just maybe some of the details that in their haste they forgot to include. So the other items that were really clever and cool, uh, there were several different lotions and gels that came in paint tubes which was pretty neat. There was a glass water bottle with the Chanel uh, logo, and of course it would be reusable. There was a sports water bottle, you know, with the little mouthpiece that clicks up and down, and that had shower gel in it. There was washi tape, just a five pack of tape. There was Oh, my favorite. There was a um, body oil in an oil can. That was really cool. So I could see all that stuff being displayed and just looking really attractive. So those were the items available. And if I haven't already mentioned it, if you would go on the Chanel.com site, even if you don't care anything about buying the products, the rollout and information that they have online is really clever and cool. And just a person who enjoys marketing or public relations or luxury brands in general, I think you would be intrigued with the products and the video and the descriptions and just the cool way that they have presented that launch. So I highly recommend Chanel.com Factory 5. Look for that and you will, you'll like what you see. So when I placed my order and the package came in, there was a freebie inside and apparently there are six freebie items that might be included with your purchase um, randomly. I'm assuming that's until supplies are gone and I don't know if they are or not, but the six items were really cool. There were birthday candles that were black in the Chanel packaging. There were cake toppers, like a cupcake topper, which was the Chanel bottle and on a toothpick that you could just stick in the top of a cupcake. There was a coloring book that included, you know, the collection. It was kind of like the collection catalog. There were 
some, two items that had variations on it. So one was a mini sample of the perfume in the actual miniature size of the bottle, not like a little spray that usually, the little vials usually get samples in, but it was actually a replica of the bottle. And you could get that either in the perfume or the uh, toilette. Then the other item that had variations was a poster. There were five different variations on that poster and the posters were different colors and had a different product featured on them. So I did purchase a couple of those on eBay and I'll tell you what I'm thinking about doing with those in a minute. But the last of the free offerings was what I received with my order, which was this net bag. Of course, it has the number five Chanel label and the classic black and white. And obviously it would make a great beach bag because sand won't stick in it, or it'd be great to take to farmer's market to pick up your fruit. But I was reading a discussion board online where people were talking about what they were gonna do with their net bag. And they mentioned putting the uh, products in them and hanging them you know around or one person said they were going to put a basketball in it and hang it in their bedroom but one lady had a clever idea she had a different brand of net bag but she had a scarf and she had tied each corner of the scarf to one of the intersections of the handle and the bag and then that created a bag that would go down and line the net and then that way little things wouldn't fall out and people couldn't see what was in your net bag. So I thought that was a pretty clever idea and I may give that a try. So I mentioned I was gonna tell you what I plan to do with my items that I purchased. And this is my craft room and connected to it is a bathroom that needs updating. So I wanna remove the wallpaper, get new flooring, just kind of spruce it up in there. And I thought it would be neat to display these Chanel Factory 5 items on shelves in there and to frame a couple of the posters and hang on the wall. So that is my plan. And as soon as I get that little project finished, I will share a video so you can see how it turned out. I would be very interested in knowing if you have purchased any of these products and if so, which ones you got and what are your favorites. So we can continue that discussion below in the comments and I will respond and um, comment as well. If you are in the Dallas area, I wanted to mention that the Dallas Museum of Art has a really fascinating collection that involves some of Chanel's everyday products. And it's a great place to visit if you're visiting the area or a resident. If you haven't checked that out, you'll want to. It is part of the Wendy and Emery Reeves collection. and. Their foundation donated, I believe, about 1,400 items of, you know, European art and antiquities. And of that, some of it is Chanel items. And so what the DMA has done, instead of just throwing them out there for people to look at, they've developed rooms. And so there's a living room in particular. I think there's a bedroom in particular. I remember the dining room, which had Coco Chanel's table and chairs and her plates and dishes setting about. So it's neat to see in situ how Coco lived and what her room might have looked like. So I would recommend going by and checking that out at the Dallas Museum, Museum of Art. That is one of their permanent displays. So you don't have to, you know, go today or anything, but it is neat. If you haven't seen it, I would recommend it. That is it for me today. I would ask that you subscribe if you haven't already. I'm new to YouTube and I need subscribers, so it would mean a lot to me if you would be willing to do that. If you'll hit the bell icon, you'll be notified when I post a new video, which is about once a week. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up so I'll know you wanna see more content like this. I do a lot on cleaning and homekeeping, but also just random things around the house just for fun. So Chanel happened to be my topic today because it was so timely with the offering of the Factory 5 items. Mm -hmm. Until next week, thank you so much for joining me and I will see you then, bye. Yeah.